So Anthony Davis, right? Anthony Davis is very likely to start at center, according to Darvin Ham, uh, that he's considering playing a three-guard lineup uh, with Anthony Davis at the five and LeBron James at the four. Now, right off the bat, I think that this would be the best potential lineup. I do think that this would be uh, the best approach for the Lakers, but there's a lot of concerns and questions about Anthony Davis at the five, right? Can he stay healthy? Is he going to continue to get banged up down low? Things like that. I mean, the whole reason you went and got two centers was to kind of replicate the 2020 season where Anthony Davis plays the four, you have the centers play the five, and then, you know, in crucial moments or, you know, playoffs or closeout games or, you know, just game seven, stuff like that, you have Anthony Davis start at center because that's where he is the the best uh, at just, you know, maximizing his talent is at the five position. Um, but through an 82-game season, do you go that route or do you run your centers? Now, I think if just based on this roster, if Anthony Davis plays the five, that opens up so much more because then you could have like a lineup of like, you know, Westbrook, uh, say Reeves, Walker, uh, you know, LeBron and Davis, just throwing out names out there, right? We'll, we'll later in a later video break down starting fives and stuff like that. But just for that, just as an example, you know, insert your starting five, um, then that just opens it up so much more. You could have Thomas Bryant, Damian Jones kind of sharing minutes uh, at the five, as well as, you know, Anthony Davis playing the four. Thomas Bryant could play the four with his stretching ability. So you could even test these two on the court together, stuff like that. You have some real flexibility there, and that makes a lot of sense. But do you really want Anthony Davis being a guy that gets banged up? Yeah, he played the five in spots and in moments throughout the regular season back in 2020. But again, is that a position that you want him to start game in, game out, night in, night out? Personally, could be completely wrong, is that I think very likely they start Anthony Davis in certain matchups, right? Like against the Warriors, you can start Anthony Davis because who's going to guard him? Kevon Looney, uh, James Wiseman, uh, you know, uh, Draymond Green, like it's a good matchup. And, and uh, Anthony Davis isn't going to get too banged up in that matchup because he's just got the size and physicality over those guys. So you don't really have to worry about there. The Warriors, or uh, the, the Clippers, right? Look at the Clippers, right? They have Zoo. Outside of Zoo, who's else? The two rookies? No, you're not worried about that. So, like, the first two games of the season, I could see them starting Anthony Davis at the five to, to match up better with the Warriors, match up better with the Clippers. And that might even be why Darvin Ham is throwing this out there as, like, hey... He's probably looking at the first two games of the season and going, like, Anthony Davis at the five would be our best matchup against these two teams, which he's right. That would be. Uh, because, again, no, nobody, none of their centers can guard Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is going to have a field day. And then you have, then they have a bunch of guards and, like, smaller wings and, like, mid-tier wings. But the Clippers have bigger uh, wing depth than, like, the, the Warriors. But the Warriors, you know, Jordan Poole, you know, Steph, Clay. Those guys, like, you have, you can match them guard for guard, stuff like that. Um, and so that would be a better matchup overall in general, right? Like, you could put Walker on, like, an Andrew Wiggins, uh, you know, put uh, Pat Bev on Clay or uh, or Steph, and then put, you know, uh, Russ on Clay Thompson. That would probably be the better matchup because Clay is not as, you know, crafty uh, as Steph is. But regardless, whatever they decide to do, Anthony Davis, I do think, will play the five in certain matchups. Now, when you're playing against, like, the Embiid's and the Jokers and, you know, the big-bodied centers, then I think that Anthony Davis uh, doesn't play the five in those matchups. I think he plays the four. And just to kind of mask him, to kind of keep him uh, better. And it's not because you're afraid, like, you know, Anthony Davis isn't worried or afraid of guarding those guys. We've seen him guard those guys. And come the playoffs, he probably will guard those guys. But over an 82-game season, your ultimate goal is keeping Anthony Davis healthy. But Anthony Davis playing the five, especially if he's shooting the way that he has been shooting in this preseason, that opens the floor so much more for Russell Westbrook and LeBron James, right? Because now you can pull out the center... That center has to come out because Anthony Davis is shooting great from three this preseason. And if that translates into the regular season, then that center has to come out and contest and stay in front of Anthony Davis. Or the team has to go smaller. And now you have no bigs in the lane. You know, like, so that that's great, right? So, for example, like, even if we're playing against, like, the, say, the the Timberwolves, right? Rudy and, uh, and you know, you have Carl Anthony Towns, right? Yeah, we could go big and we could go, you know, Anthony Davis uh, at the four, 
good luck having Towns try to guard Dave, especially Towns is so, uh, you know, he loves to just be foul happy and get in foul trouble early. Anthony Davis can exploit that. Yes, Thomas Bryant and Damian Jones would have a little bit of a workload with Rudy Gobert, but like he's not an offensive weapon. You know, it's just sticking up with his, uh, you know, ability to grab rebounds, offensive rebounds, stuff like that. Just keeping him out of the paint. Outside of that, like you're good. But the alternative would be have Carl Anthony Towns have to guard LeBron James and then have, you know, uh, Rudy Gobert have to guard Anthony Davis. Now, I don't think that that happens in the regular season. I think they will likely go the bigger up. But say we run into them in the playoffs. Like, Rudy having to be drawn out of the paint to go guard Anthony Davis, like, good luck. There's no Rudy's in trouble, right? Now Rudy's on an island. And that's how teams have beaten, like, Rudy, have basically neutralized Rudy year in and year out, which is why I'm not very confident in the Timberwolves. But even bigger matchups, you could really maximize this. And Carl Anthony Towns isn't guarding LeBron James. Good luck. Uh, so there are ways that we could capitalize with the mixed match, and it is really good because of Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis being so versatile, and if he's finally knocking down his shots, we we have the ultimate mismatch, literally, because we have a guy that you have wherever he's at on the court, his defender has to stay with him, and so if it, that's a big, that big has to come out of the paint, and now LeBron James and Russell Westbrook can just get to the basket freely, and then it's just layup drills at that point. Russ needs to make his layups, but if he does. Layup drills, like right, it's easy. It's easy generated buckets for Russ. And Russ has even talked about how, like you know, he needs to be, he needs to take better shots, stuff like that. Like you know, that he believes he's a good shooter. Just it's the the shot selection at times, stuff like that. Which hopefully he does show up this season. I'm I'm really looking forward to that. But Anthony Davis at the five opens up these three so much more. LeBron at the four opens LeBron up so much more. And especially in today's NBA. LeBron can guard the fours. It might even be better for him to guard the fours than today's threes. Just because, like, we're not in the age where you had, you know, uh, Horace Grant and guys like, you know, guys like that or Dennis Rodman playing the four at times. Like, stuff like that. Like, you know, you didn't have to worry about that stuff. Like, those those big body banners that just love to just, like, you know, generate fouls and just hit you and, you know, stuff like that. You know, like, we're not in that day. Nowadays, most, uh, you know, power forwards are, like, 6'8". You know, like, LeBron can guard Draymond. You know, LeBron can guard, like, Tobias Harris. Like, guys like that. Like, you know, so I I do think LeBron at the four does make a lot of sense. Um, And then, you know, having him be able to operate in that point four, um, I think is really huge as well. But all in all, like, I I do like the idea of Anthony Davis. I just don't think it's going to happen over an 82-game season. I think that, you know, you have all these guards, so it makes sense to get these guys some depth, right? Because then, like I said, you could have, like, Westbrook and Nunn with, like, Walker and LeBron and Anthony Davis. And now you have basically all your bases covered. You have shooting, you have defense, you have, you know, or, you know, go Pat Bev or whichever. Whoever you want, you know, pick your poisons again. But regardless, Anthony Davis at the five, I think, gives this team so much more flexibility. He is a shot blocker. He is a great defender. He can guard on the perimeter, all of that stuff. So your team defense would be really good as well. All in all, I just I think that they would be in the best position with Anthony Davis at the five. I just don't like it over an 82-game season. Like I, I just think that your job is to keep him as healthy as possible. Keep Anthony Davis on the court as much as possible. Uh, and I just don't want to see him getting banged up over 82 games and then come playoffs. He's not able to do that when we need him to. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather lose a couple of those games, but ensure we get into the playoffs and have Anthony Davis now guard the Joker and Embiid and all that stuff. That's just my thoughts and opinions. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think? Think Davis should start the five? Do you think he should start the four? Do you think certain matchups, things like that? However you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between, let me know down in the comment section below little shameless plug everyone if you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel as it stands lakers then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to as it stands believe it or not as it stands was the first channel if it wasn't for that channel this channel would never have existed because of the success of that channel it led me to want to create this lakers channel so do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there go check that out 
go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.